All right, so we're looking at an application of recurrence relations this time. Uh, really, we're going to do a couple of things here, or three things here. We're going to uh, set up a recurrence relation. That's going to be part A. Uh, we're going to write down an expression for Tn in terms of N, which is a bit different to a recurrence relation. And then we're going to use those uh, to solve a problem. Okay, so that's, that's where we're at. Let's just jump straight into it. Uh, at a particular school, the number of students studying maths methods is going up every year. There are currently 40 students studying maths methods. So the first question here says, set up the recurrence relation if the number is increasing by five students each year. So a recurrence relation is always going to look the same. Term n is going to be equal to, and we have to use um, the previous term in a recurrence relation. So if this term is tn, the previous term is uh, t n minus 1. So um, this term, the new term, is going to be equal to the previous term. And then read the question. Set up the recurrence relation if the number is increasing by five students each year. So if this was 40, then the next year is going to be 45 because it's increasing by five. So we take, we sorry, we add five to our previous term. So if this was term five, then we take term four and we add five to it. Okay, uh, part B, write down an expression for term n in terms of n this time. So not in terms of Tn minus one, which is what this is in, but in terms of just plain old n. All right, so this one I struggle with a little bit, uh, but let's give it a try. So term one would be equal to, let's see, uh, term one would be equal to 40 students. And term two would be equal to 45. And term three would be equal to 50. And term four would be equal to 55. Now, if you were to take those numbers, one, two, three, four, and 40, 45, 50, and 55, and you were to put them, uh, instead make them X's and Y's, what you have here is actually a linear equation. By a linear equation, term one is gonna be equal to 40, term 2, 45, term 3, 50, and it keeps going up like that. So we really were trying to find the equation to that line. So keep that in mind. So you can sort of do it that way. Uh, I'm going to do it a slightly different uh, way. I'm going to say that uh, term 1 is equal to 40, and I'm going to say that term 2 is equal to 40 plus um, 1 times 5. And term 3 is equal to 40 plus 2 times 5. And term 4 is equal to 40 plus 3 times 5. Now you can see these line up with, with those. That one, that one, that one, that one. Um, now look at this number here. 1, 2, 3. It's 1 less than this number here. So this is actually uh, n minus 1. That's n, 2, and that's n minus 1. So I can sort of rewrite that as term n is equal to 40 plus uh, n minus 1, that's n minus 1, that's n minus 1, that's n minus 1, uh, times 5. And then if I were to expand that a little bit, I'd get 40 plus 5n minus 5. And then if I simplify, I'll get 35 plus 5n equals tn. Okay, so uh, please note, this was the answer to part A, the recurrence relation. This was part B, and here's our answer to part B. This is probably a good amount of working for a question like part B. Okay, finally part C. Uh, find the number of students expected to be studying maths methods at the school in five years time. So it says you've got to be careful, really, really careful here, because in five years time, well, term one is now. Term one equals now. And term two equals in one year's time, as in this time next year, in one year's time. Okay, so that means that uh, if we want in five years' time, it's not going to be term five, it's actually going to be term six. 
So term six equals, and we could use uh, either of these formulas, but if we use that formula, we're going to have to do like one, two, three, four, five. We can use this formula. That's as much faster. 35 plus five times six equals 35 plus 30, which equals 65, 65 students. All right, uh, that's some applications of recurrence relations.